For this section, we're tasked with writing the next three terms and graphing each geometric sequence. Now, these are going to have a pattern, like we saw in the last section, of a consistent multiple or a consistent ratio. For this first example, to get from 5 to 20, we're going to multiply by 4. Let's check that with the rest of these. We're multiplying by 4 to go from 20 to 80, and multiplying by 4 to go from 80 to 320. Now, our task, our first task is to write the next three terms, and so we're going to use that pattern and continue to write by multiplying by 4. So 320 times by 4 is... 1,280. We're going to multiply that by 4 again to get our next term, which is 5,120, and multiply that by 4 one more time to get 20,480. 20,480. Now these are going to go on a graph as our y values. If you recall from our previous section, the sequences only list the y values. Our x values start at 1, 2, 3, 4, and they continue. And so if you would like, you can write these as a table of values. We've got our x and our y right here where we have 1 and 5, 2 and 20, 3 and 80, 4, and 320, and so forth down the list until we get to the end of our sequence that we've written right here. It does continue to go on. Uh, from here, we have our table of values, ordered pairs that we can put in a graph. And so I've used GeoGebra to do that. You guys can see that these are graphed using their ordered pairs. On this next one, we're going to try and find the pattern, and I'm going to use our little trick that we used in the last section of dividing, negative 27 divided by 81 happens to be negative one-third. So that gives us our multiple from term to term. We've got negative, we're multiplying by negative one-third, multiplying by negative one-third. Now I'm not going to use the decimal on this because the decimal is unending. It's going to work out much better if I leave it as a fraction. So negative three times negative one-third will end up being positive one. Multiply that by negative one-third, and we get negative one-third. Multiply that by negative one-third, and we get positive one-ninth. And we could continue that if we wish. Now again, we could write this as ordered pairs. So here's our x values, one, two, three, and so forth. So we've got one, and 81, 2, negative 27, 3, and 9, and we'll keep going until we've got all the numbers that we want to graph. Now we've got our ordered pairs, so we can again put them in GeoGebra and see what the graph take, looks like. Now on this last one, I'm not going to write it as a table of values because we can see it with just the sequence, negative 3 times negative 4 will get us an, a positive 12. Positive 12 times negative 4 will get us negative 48. And if we continue to multiply by negative 4, we will continue our sequence. Now, 192 times by negative 4 gives us negative 768. Multiply that by negative 4, and we get positive 3072, multiply that by negative 4 again, and we get negative 12,288. And if I needed to keep going, I could continue that pattern. We'll take these and we'll put them in the graph as ordered pairs again, and you can see what the graph looks like right there. Thank you very much.